Welcome back to Tasha's Imaginarium. I'm Tasha and this video I'll be working on a photo album. Now I love these book boxes. They're decorative boxes that look like books and I just never really have anything to put in them. But I figured I could very easily turn this into a photo album. Now, I really love this idea because these things will look very neat and tidy and you can just set them out and they don't look messy at all, but then you can open them up and flip through your photo album pages and then put them away and it looks nice and clean. And it's such a simple project, all you need is one of these book boxes and a two inch ring binder. For a complete list of the materials I used, check out the description box below. All right, let's get started. I begin by removing the front and back covers of my binder with a box cutter, leaving the spine intact. I've already gone ahead and done that. Then I remove the vinyl covering of the spine with an X-Acto knife. I want to be very careful and leave the cardboard inside intact because that's what I'll be using to glue it to my box. I cover the back part of the spine with a hefty amount of Fabri-Tac glue and I put some rapid fuse adhesive on the edges just to make sure it holds in place while the Fabri-Tac dries. You want to press it down firmly making sure that all of the spine is pressed up neatly against the box. I keep pressing just to make sure that it's firmly attached. Next, I'm going to match the color of the cardboard of the spine with the color of the box so that it blends neatly and looks really nice. Here I'm just mixing a blue paint, a purple paint, and a black paint with some white paint to match exactly the color of my box. Then I very gently and carefully paint the cardboard of the spine. And when I was doing this, I realized I probably could have painted it before I glued it to the box. It would have been an easier job. Um, so if you do decide to do that, just make sure you don't paint the bottom part, but only the edges and the top. And that's probably a much smarter thing to do than trying to paint it once it's already glued inside the box, as you can see here. And that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm just cleaning up any edges that have been stained with the paint. And to make the drying time go faster, I just use a blow dryer to speed up the process. I'm checking to make sure that my paint is completely dry and that my spine is firmly attached to my box before adding my album pages. I like to start with the front half of the album, placing the pages in order, 
and then I do the back half starting with the last pages and coming towards the front. The other benefit to having a book box album is that you can store loose mementos as well as your loose negatives without misplacing them. <laughs> and there we have it. That's it. I have my photo album in a box. All right, creative fiends, if you enjoyed this video, please ding that like button and leave a comment below. And be sure to subscribe to keep watching more creative mischief on Tasha's Imaginarium. Until next time, stay fiendish.